Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and so if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because this is a place to be, this is where, you know, there are some hot reaction videos and so yeah, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend and so today we're going to react to a very interesting video that was suggested to me, um, you know, by Dimoine Goes on YouTube that, you know, uh, that, you know, very interesting and so it's about a young man uh, you know where bullies call him a monkey so he was born different so I guess he has a disorder and so yeah so and you know the way kids can be mean uh, among themselves some adults can be so stupid so yeah I can just imagine what this young boy uh, has been going through so let's see what this video is all about and so let's get straight into this video <laughs> up hope you're doing fine welcome to today's episode and please consider subscribing to my youtube channel oh wow the streets are so clean wow where is this where, which country is this and therefore today we are on our way to one of the people who were born different here in rwanda and oh. this guy is one of the most yo this is rwanda i understand why rwanda is like the place to be for one and also where so many african leaders are from different countries it's a model it's it's the model because it's a clean it's a green the towns are beautiful and and so on okay wow rwanda most popular and famous people who are known to be born different and therefore today we are on our journey to his home so that we can mm. have a chit chat with him and get to know much more about him so let's keep going see you at his home okay. oh, look, look at how cute he is with the with the shirt you know it looks like a gucci well the colors you know uh so wow oh poor baby i feel like he's probably undergone so much that maybe his disability doesn't really make make him fully comprehend what bullying is all about why people don't like him or probably doesn't have friends and so on and in an african setting it must be very it's completely difficult when you live in up country you know so oh <laughs> After three hours of travel, we finally got to Elijah's home and this is where he has been born and raised. So we are inside their small house oh. here in the village and this is how everything looks like. And please guys, Tim D, you know how we do it. If you are in a position to help them, please feel free. My PayPal link is down below oh. and please, while sending the donation, please oh. indicate for Elijah so that I can wow. clearly know the purpose of the donation. So this is where they get to cook from in the same house and this is how basically everything looks oh. like and remember this is where he has grown so in the same house they also have a tiny small bedroom area where they get to hide themselves from the cold and this mm. is how basically yeah this is just like just a place to just to sleep and that's all oh my goodness yeah the, the living conditions are so difficult Oh, for this young boy, I can just imagine. But I believe because they live in up country, so they have a farm, so they, they eat everything from their garden. But yet, you know, no bed, no, you know, no comfortable place to sleep in. So it's really sad to see the conditions in which, you know, they, the family lives in. But the mom looks to be a courageous woman. So I think she has done so much for her children, for her child. I have no idea if they have another child, but, um, oh my goodness. So yes, if you can, you know, if you can help go ahead and, and join Dean Wango in helping the family. It looks so let's go out and get to hear part of his story. Now 
That is a mom. Oh. Elijah's mother says, Elijah is a blessing and an answered prayer to them. Uh, this is because while she was giving birth to the other babies, they could all die. Like oh. close to four of them died before she was blessed uh, with Elijah. So oh. to her and the husband, it was like an answered prayer because they could oftenly tell God, God, why can't you bless us even with a handicapped child mm. that will not die but stay with us? So oh. when they were blessed with Elijah, the neighbors and everybody oh. were shocked because they could say this baby looks like a monkey. They were really... Oh my goodness, Elijah, you know, you just want to hug him. You just want to, you know, you just want to protect him. You just want to be there for him. And yes, you know, as women, when you have miscarriages, it's a difficult experience. And um, yeah, so a child is a child. It's a blessing. And I feel right now Elijah has brought so much love and, and, and life-changing experiences, you know, to the family. I just hope that people are not exploiting this family because I know in this world there are so many horrible people and I hope the people are not exploiting them by you know taking you know just taking people to see them taking away the money and stuff like that and then there's, there's general people who are there to help them and and help change you know their life in a positive manner so that's my only prayer but they look to be ah uh, there it just warms my heart when people just uh, genuinely help other people out and which is the case I believe with you know with Dim Wango you know she really wants to to have a positive impact in this family discriminating the baby but for mm. them it was an answered prayer from God and what she says is she really loves his son despite of other people discriminating him yeah. <laughs> And I think it's not, it's not an easy, um, it wasn't easy to film. And so Dimwango, if you watch this video, let me know. I believe it was very difficult because of the language barrier. So you had, there must have been someone who was translating what she was saying and stuff like that. And then for the editing as well, it must, I think it wasn't so easy to, you know, to put everything together and come up with uh, a nice, uh, you know, a nice video. So good job. Elijah's mother says the major problem which he faces while taking oh. care of his son is the fact that the neighborhood has not yet accepted his son oh. as a normal human being, but they see him as an animal and most of the children in the neighborhood, they don't want to associate with him. They call him monkey, they torture him, and when she's not around, she has to lock him inside the house so that he can be safe mm. until when he returns. But despite of all that, the mother is really comfortable and she still thanks God for blessing him with the son because she really wanted to at least have a child who could stay with her for the longest time ever mm. in her life. Yeah, after all, he's a blessing. He's a true blessing to the family in so many different ways. You know, when you give life, when you give life, oh my goodness, it's just a beautiful experience, uh, regardless of you know how you know how your baby looks like, if you know he has a disability or stuff like that. So, ah, uh, it's uh, relieving, so nice. Elijah is 21 years old. Ooh. He cannot speak properly, but he can actually get to understand when somebody speaks to him. And when he was really young, he was so shy to associate with people. And most of the times, he could run to the forest. He could really Ooh. hide away from people. But nowadays, he's really friendly to people. He keeps on improving as days go by. So that's the major challenge which 
he has, but all in all, he eats normally as other babies or other kids, but still the neighbors really discriminate him. They haven't accepted him as a normal human being yet. <laughs> Eliza's mother says Eliza has been a great source of blessing to their home because mm. each and every day lots of people come from different places, different countries to pay them a visit and they recently got a sponsor who will be taking care of Elijah's education, which is also a good thing because mm. I strongly believe every person is entitled to good education, good health, mm. and also right to live just as other human beings. If you'd like also to support, my <laughs> PayPal is down below, or rather uh, Elijah's number. But if you're from Rwanda, it will be really easy for you to get in contact with her. So feel free and help mm. where you can. Oh my god, it's my prayer that people are not exploiting this family. I it's I think it's my only worry because uh, people are so selfish, I would say. So I hope the mom gets genuine support because raising a 21-year-old, um, you know, disabled child is not easy at all. I know she's she's got challenges, she so I believe I hope anybody who goes out there to help them is genuine and really helps them and nobody else from the outside you know relatives or whatever is you know trying to exploit them uh in any way so i hope that you know they, they deserve to be happy and to have a you know a, a better life um you know so uh <laughs> Elijah's mother says that the only advice she can give to other people who have children of the same type is they should accept the situation of their children and after all it's a blessing from God and she didn't know there are so many of uh, you know of his son's type not until she went to the school where his son is supposed to be admitted and she found lots of children who looked or who had the same problem as his son and some of them were even worse and that's when she realized she's not alone and it gets to happen everywhere and the best thing to do is always appreciate and thank God because at times she feels maybe God is trying to communicate to them mm -hmm. and maybe even testing their mm -hmm. patience so they should just take care of their kids and accept the way <laughs> the situation is. Scratch me, scratch me, scratch me. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, I, I, I love this young man so much. I, he deserves, you know, to be happy. He deserves all the best in life and for the family as well. <laughs> Finally, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. In case you're new here, welcome. My name is D Mwango and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. <laughs> Give the video a like and leave your honest opinion in the comment box down below. And if you'd like to donate to them, please feel free. My PayPal is down below in the description box and also Elijah's mother's phone number. You can also reach her out if you can. So I want to say ciao. See you soon on my next video, guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Um, this was so heartwarming. It was, you know, uh, I, I just because I am a mom, so I I know how it can feel. I can just imagine how it can feel, you know, to be, you know, in this situation and just, you know, our children are our blessings. Our children are everything for us. So yeah, so please. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the reaction video. Um, and so make sure you watch part two of this video because I know Dean Wango went back to the family, you know, with the money she collected from, you know, from her supporters to, you know, to 
just give a surprise to uh, Elijah's mom and Elijah himself. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.